You know, we all black when the lights go out. First of all, what do my kids have to do with anything with them? The adults don't have to do anything. Because at the end of the fucking day, they don't know what the fuck I got going on. I got a whole, a whole cake. I understand where you're coming from. I get it. But at the end of the day, I don't trust very easily, especially with the shit that I'm into. My kids be on the live laughing and crying and, and doing whatever all the time. At the end of the day, why the fuck is y'all bringing people kids up and shit? Hey y'all, that's her cousin. That ain't her friend. That's her cousin. Y'all, I'm sorry for this cat. He said he wanna be in it. They just sat here through this whole thing and lied. Was killed. Yep. Y'all, that tall man. Hold on. Hold on. I got it taped. I'm gonna show y'all this man. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly who it is. If y'all did not know. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Don't leave. I'm gonna show you. I always come with receipts, so let me show you. Y'all ain't gonna believe who this man is in this kitchen. Hold on. All right, all right. This video is for those of y'all that still don't know or are not aware of the Crystal Dean Rachel Smith connection and all the things that's been learned along the way, and who. The person's identity is that Crystal Dean has actually stolen from her. This woman here, that's Crystal Dean, of course. And this information was actually dropped into our lap about a month ago. And along with the information that was provided to us, we did our own investigation and research. So this is actually a developing story um, for many reasons, including exploitation, defamation of character, identity fraud, emotional distress and so on and so on um, an additional case is also possibly being built for criminal charges due to crystal making threats and harassing others online using young ladies images that she um, did not get permission to use so we're going to get to the first fake profile the reason why we're here and this young lady that's coming up she had no idea that her images were stolen this woman here. Crystal made a grave error by in stepping into the celebrity world and including this young lady's image. And her family members actually came across a YouTube video with her images displayed all over it. And that is how it was brought to her attention that her images were stolen. All right, let me interject at this point. We have had new developments in this story for accessories after the fact. You have this elderly woman here, as well as this middle-aged woman who has joined the facade that Crystal Dean has put together with the online identity theft and fraud. Now this woman here enjoys having young females as her companion. Now, when this was brought to my attention and I confronted this elderly or older middle-aged woman about this, her claim was that this female with her has just turned 29 in January. I don't care how old she is now. It's the age she was when you were in the bed with her. And I am a bit advocate for children who's had their innocence stolen. I'm going to add this in here right now. This is for Lex. I don't know if these photographs also belong to you as Rachel Smith has them listed as hers, but I have a lengthy 
messenger full of messages from the imaginary Rachel Smith that shows a lot of photos of a young child, a, a baby, an infant, that she has claimed is deceased. And, and I, I, this is the best of the pictures that I'm going to put in here because the photographs, if in fact it is the same child that she says has dece been deceased, um, I don't want to exploit them on the internet. I knew that there was something fishy with her story when she first said that the child died in 2014 and then came back and said, my mistake, I meant to say 2015. So, you know how to get a hold of me. You feel free to get a hold of me and I will hand you over the photographs that she has passed around the internet as well. Now, let's get back to the main video at hand. So Crystal had made fake Rachel Thornton accounts, fake Rachel Smith accounts, and that is not this young woman's name. She has no connection to Crystal. She wanted to make that clear. This is why she requested that I do this video. She wanted to make it clear that she has no connection to Crystal. She even went as far as to go to law enforcement, and they advised her to submit, hire a lawyer and submit a cease and desist letter and... She could also hire a private investigator to track the perpetrator, which is Crystal Dean, and that is actually what she did. So this has actually been going on for a good six months now. Um, here, just more images of this young woman. And I'm going to get to how the emails of Crystal's personal email link up to this Rachel Thornton account. Just more images of this girl that was stolen. Here is the partial email here for the Rachel Thornton account. You can see that there. Was it C and then there's space eight at T space. All right, so here is the real, the full email, which is the third one down, C Dean. 78 at triad.rr.com and there it is there up close and clear this is from the rachel smith account and this is also from crystal dean's personal email so this location says crystal lived in kernville california she did not live there she only had a p.o box there anybody can get a p.o box in another state you just have to check it often and if you don't they will close it and that is what Crystal did. All right, so this image here, Crystal posted on the Rachel Thornton account. And this is not of the young lady. This is actually an image there you see there from Pinterest. You can actually go on Pinterest, do an image search, and you will find that image. This next image is also from Pinterest. This is not that young lady, but Crystal decided to make everyone think it was. All right, so evidence in real time. I'm going to click on the links, and it's going to pull in the account's link to this email address at cdean78 at triad.rr.com. I'm going to click on that Lincoln account of Crystal's and pops up Pinterest. Her account pops up. This is all linked to that email address. And the Rachel Thornton pops up all linked to that email address. All three of those accounts. All right, so more fake accounts using this young lady's image. Crystal decided to make a an old Twitter account using that young lady's image. And of course, she looks like a baby on there, so she's just been stealing all of her pictures. All right, so this account states Nelly Nelly, um, based out of, it says, it states New Orleans Made and Raised. And the next is a load of other fake accounts. The Kimberlew Wiles account. Now, we were only able to connect one Kimberlew Wiles.94 to Crystal Dean's personal email address. I mean, there could be more, but this is the one that we were able to, for a fact, 100% proof connect. And there's the email address. And this is actually, she's using her old college email address at goldford.edu college. And that is the sixth one down on this list. And there it's close up. 
you guys can see that and this is crystal's lincoln account and you will see under education she lists at sw gulford as education she also lists an old website of hers at the bottom of that all right so additional fake accounts more fake accounts of crystal so she opened this account here and this is these are old accounts the jessica simone and this young lady actually the first young lady who we discussed she reached out to that young lady and so she's part of this case now too and as you can see crystal didn't she forgot to change her crystal.dean the personalized link on facebook she forgot to change her name under the jessica profile link all right additional fake account of crystal dean Brittany bish and also these are all fake and I think believe there's three or four listed here three three four or five accounts listed here that crystal has them if you look on these sites she has them communicating giving the illusion that these people are real and they're having a discussion and they're meeting up outside none of it is real it's the same thing she did with her personal account the crystal dean account and the rachel thornton account she would pretend like they were talking or separately discussing things when it's the same person all right so coming up is another account on high five and it matches crystal dean's email address the cdean78 at yahoo and she's using someone else's picture that is not crystal all right coming up is an ig account where she's using her yahoo email address for this one the same one she used for that high five account so she's changed the name on here truth and lies it was kanika capper and as you can see there she switched it to truth and lies and i'm sure she's going to change it again this is what she's probably going to do with all these accounts where okay there's the email link there but what she doesn't understand is that she's been tracked everywhere <laughs> So that email address is actually the first one on this list, the cdean78 at yahoo.com. And here's more of her fake accounts. The one with the kind of Chinese writing, the bottom one, Instagram. Now that's linked to another Instagram account that's coming up next that Jess Tate was also listed on Facebook. We were able to connect them. These old accounts, she forgot to change her name on them. All right, so pay attention to her vocabulary on the Twitter post that she has listed on her tasty tasty something twitter we'll see here does it sound familiar the way she's using her verbiage tasty treats twitter at c dean 78 she's using words like goofy tweaking it's talking about dolph i mean this woman is this is 3 24 22 she's 44 years old in this and she's talking like this all right, so she's adding King Von Burner, too. And she's calling somebody a monkey A. Then she's calling somebody a snitch A, N-word. And remember, this is Crystal Dean. She's a white woman using all this verbiage. All right, so this was pretty funny, so I decided to post this. You guys can read this. This guy has no idea what she's talking about and kind of lets her know, like, huh? kind of just shows how pathetic she is all right more of that post and that conversation and he was saying i didn't say nothing <laughs> all right so she's posting more about young Dolph. all right so next is her fictionalized love affair that was it was of course orchestrated by crystal dean herself so this man here he died back in 2014 his name is gerald Dwayne williamson and she decided to disrespect him in death like she's done these other men all right so she posts his picture on and off for years making people believe she has a child with him there's no child absolutely no child all right so this was a private investigator um 
speaking with his sister and she stating you are very welcome and if there's anything I can do to help stop her let me know because she needs to be stopped she has caused a lot of mess with the family and my brother's daughter mom starting stuff she even says she had a baby by my brother-in-law all right so that's the woman he was with before he died and the mother of his children this is the one crystal harassed that woman and his mom posted this about crystal she says who will f this ugly ghost and that post is still up and then here's just another picture that i decided to post on here of him and his family and i was given permission to post this all right and then as you can see crystal's youtube channel cd78 she decided to change the last name to williamson after his last name kind of like she did with the rachel thornton profile after the the rapper young dolph died <laughs> All right, so here's a conversation that Gerald's family, two of his family members are having about they've never seen the baby. So Crystal is commenting and her fake Rachel Thornton account, which is Crystal also commenting on this. Okay, you guys, so the p second part is our Zoom videos with two of the women whose pictures were stolen and the family members of Gerald. And the third part is more emails that we did not list in here here of crystals and more fake profiles from all over including dating accounts like tinder <laughs> that she's actually using the first woman pictures from the rachel thornton profile she's using her pictures on tinder pretty sad and disgusting all right so you guys stay tuned we will be back i'm sure they will report this but that's why we have this also posted on our other three sites and you have to actually pay to get into those so unless you want to pay to get in that and report it yeah it's going to stay up thank you guys this is a conspiracy that has been going on um regarding young Dolph and his third baby mama so there is a woman named rachel smith aka rachel thornton who is pretending to be his third baby mama saying that they are pregnant with twins and he passed away. She was on the phone with him and she's claiming all of these things and da 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 da. Okay, there is only one person on this earth other than me, other than me, who knows the truth about this, okay? Miss Rachel Thornton, you are a fraud. You are a liar. Miss Rachel Smith, you was crazy as hell, okay? And I'm gonna explain it all. Okay. Okay, so boom, I was contacted by a woman who was contacted by a private investigator who has been investigating this for years. I think Kanika Jinka's mom hired this person. This is me in 2015. These are all the YouTube videos that I'm included in. Um, my face is included in. This is the woman who has been impersonating me for years, since 2014, okay? Crazy as hell. This is the Rachel Smith page that is supposedly Young Doll's baby mama, who is supposedly rachel thornton okay yes i'm appalled by this information and i cannot believe that people are actually feeding into this i am finding that this woman is insane she's off her rocker okay she's crazy i'm finding youtube videos of the trouble and the mess that she has started and i'm actually upset that i'm even in this shit like wow what the hell okay crazy anyways um there are many YouTube videos of people investigating this, of people who are really looking into this shit, like who are really trying to see what this is, like who this woman is and to bring her down. OK, people want this woman brought down, a.k.a. Okay? including me. OK, if you look um, if you look up on YouTube, um, Young Dolph, Rachel Thornton and Rachel Smith, you will find all of these. Part two, let's go. Okay, so boom. Here is another YouTube video where this woman is trying to profit off of this man's death. Her supposed baby daddy, the father of her two twins, which is absolutely insane, baby. It is insane. Okay. Anyways. She is the mother of two twins and he has a daughter by her as well. It's just like a web of lies this woman is spewing she revealed his last words to her and this woman lady god lady goddess is backing all this stuff up well i'm i'm here to tell you she is lying 
okay? She is lying. If anybody knows, I'm pretty sure Young Dolph was not talking to no 44-year-old woman who has mental disorders, okay? I'm pretty sure he wasn't talking to her or the lady goddess, okay? The woman who's in these pictures that she's using is me. And I have not talked to Young Dolph. I don't know Young Dolph. I've never met Young Dolph. Never even been to Memphis, okay? Never been to Memphis. So with that being said, how does she know this? She's profiting off of this man's debt, period. There are no twins. Yes, I just had a baby. I had a son, okay? And I know who my baby daddy is. This is my son, okay? Like, come on, stop playing with people. Like, stop playing with people's lives. Stop playing with people. And... Also, shame on y'all for even believing this. I can't even tell you how many YouTube videos I have seen regarding this with my face. Saying that I am Rachel Smith. I am Rachel Thornton. I would never, ever profit off of somebody's death. I would never, ever say bad things to somebody's mother whose daughter died unexpectedly. Kanika Jenkins. Like, I would never do nothing like that. Like, in the fact that this woman is using my face... Since 2015, when I was a, a, a minor, I was dribbling basketballs in high school when this woman is stealing my pictures. Y'all, there's nothing that we can do other than to just stop giving these people the, 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 the attention that they want. Stop believing everything that you see on the internet. This man is dead, okay? Stop trying to profit off of his death. That is just so sad. Like, in the way that this woman is putting Chicago in it, like, you don't even know. You don't even know nothing about King Von. You don't know nothing about Lil Dirk. You're just a weird person. Like, the fact that people are looking at me in my pictures saying that I'm just a washed up stripper who is from Chicago and is in Memphis. Now I'm in LA, like, just doing weird stuff to get myself together. No, that's not, that's furthest from the truth. I'm happy. I'm living my life and this woman is just taking my pictures, okay? Like, y'all be safe.